Hello, um, today I'm gonna be doing a bit of a tutorial. I'm by no means, um, the best person to be making this. I'm not super familiar with it, but I, this is just how I do things and it works for me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I, how I make some custom geometry skins. So what you're going to need is Minecraft, obviously, and then this is going to be our little, uh, template that I've made. And then block bench, IO bit unlocker, and then you don't need paint, but it definitely helps a lot. I'm not going to be using it for this tutorial, but if you if you need to work on your texture, it definitely helps a lot with making the texture of your skin. Although you can just do it in block bench. Okay, so once you once you've got all these things downloaded, you don't need to download block bench. You can use the website version, uh, the web app here, and then. I'll, I'll add the link in the description to download iobit and my template and then you probably already have minecraft if you're watching this so we're gonna open up block bench here and you see here i've just got a normal block bench skin open when we when we go like this right this is not going to work for your custom geometry skin you're going to need to use what's in this folder which is the geometry file this file will tell the game what shape your skin needs to take so we're going to drag this into block bench and it's going to open up this. So this little north down here, this end for north, is going to tell you which direction your skin is going to be facing. So this is more of a tutorial for adding your stuff into the game and not for making the, the skin and texturing it. But I do want to give a few tips here real quick. So what I always like to do when I first start making mine is you'll see this guy looks a bit bulky. <laughs> um, and what that is is it's actually the the top layers so i i normally hide the top layers whenever i first start working on my skin just because it makes it easier to tell the shape of my actual character and then another tip i have real quick is that if you um whatever you want to make so if it's going to go on your head if it's a hat if it's going to go attached to your body on the front or the back it's going to need to be a part of the body and then the arms of course and the legs they need to be in the folders that like go with that so if it's going to be on the body and you want it to move around with the body it's going to need to be attached to the body folder if it's on the head and needs to move with the head like ears or a hat or something it needs to be attached to the head folder so the way that you can do that i'm gonna i'm gonna make this on my right arm i think what i'm working on here Oh wait, no, we can do, we'll do a little backpack guy, just like my, just like the original video. So you're going to click on the body and then click add cube. So this cube is going to be a part of the body now. You can check if it's a part of the body by clicking on the body folder at the very top and seeing if it's selected with it. So this cube needs to stay a part of the body. And then I'm going to model out, I'm going to make a little guy real quick on my back, a little bunny, I think. And then I will get back to you. I'm gonna start time lapsing. All right, be right back. Just another quick tip if you right click on a cube, you can duplicate it by clicking duplicate here. Okay, so now that we've got our little bunny guy done, he's gonna need a texture. We don't want him to just be invisible. So we're gonna click over to paint up here, and then we're gonna unhide all of these things that we hit earlier, the top layers. This is super important if you want top layers on any of your other stuff, because if you don't unhide them now, you won't be able to get top layers whenever it's time, because they won't be added in your texture. So we're gonna press create texture over here, and then we're gonna name it whatever we want. Bunny guy is what I'm gonna call this one. And then we're going to click down here on this drop down and click texture template. And then don't change anything else unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> if you know what you're doing, you're probably not watching this. Okay. So now we've got our, our little texture guy. I'm going to do a little time lapse of making this little guy and making my person who goes with him. So I will talk to you once that is over.
Okay. So now we've completely finished modeling our little guy and our little bunny. We're gonna have to press save on our texture over here. And then it's gonna pop up like this. And we're gonna wanna save it as whatever, whatever we want it to be named. So I'm gonna call this bunny guy, just cause that's what I called it a second ago. And make sure it says PNG texture here. And then press save. And then you're also going to have to save your model so that you can keep this little guy looking all cute. You press here and then press save model. And so that's going to save your model. So now we don't need block bench anymore. We can close out of that. And we're going to be back here. So what, what we're going to want to do is make sure that our manifest says what we want it to say. So this is the name of the pack again. And this is the description. So I've just named my tutorial. Make sure that's all right. And then we're going to want to go to skins. Okay. So this is where normally people are getting lost from what I've seen. What you want to do here is this is going to be the skin name. So you're going to want to change this to say what you want the skin to be. So bunny guy is what mine is going to be. And then we're going to minimize this for a second. We're going to take our texture that we've just made. We're going to drag it, make sure that it's in the same folder with everything else and make sure it's named what you want it to na be named and then I just copy and paste it or copy the name like that and then we open back up this and in this texture bit I change this you just copy this out make sure you leave the dot png there and then paste that in so I've got bunny guy there and then make sure this geometry stays as geometry cosmetic and if you want a cape you can put your cape there if you know how to do capes okay so now that we've got that done we've saved it and we've saved our manifest too. We need to check in our geometry to make sure that this says geometry cosmetic. Whatever it says here, it needs to be matching with whatever it says here or else this won't work. So it needs to stay as geometry cosmetic. So now we've got all this done. This is the second hardest part. We're coming up on the hardest part now. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to open up IOBit Unlocker. And so this is where it gets confusing, <laughs> like properly confusing. We're gonna wanna press add, and then wherever your stuff is stored, so mine would be Windows C, program files, and then scroll down to find Windows apps. If you can't see Windows apps, you'll need to turn on hidden folders, or like show hidden folders. I don't know how you can do that. Uh, there is definitely a way though, because I had to do it before as well. Uh, most people already have that showing though. And then we're going to want to scroll down until we find uh, Microsoft.MinecraftUWP. Click on that, click on data, and then skin packs. And now we're here. So you see we've got Persona here. We're going to want to click on this. And then this is from a previous pack I've got here. Yours will just have other stuff in it. But you're going to make sure this Persona one is the one that's selected in blue. And you're going to press OK. And then unlock and delete. So this is going to delete your original Persona that comes with the game. And then you're gonna take, this is this is our folder that we've been working in, it's called Persona. We're gonna, we're gonna drag this and drop it into IOBit Unlocker and it should pop up saying Persona. And then we're gonna hit this drop down menu and click unlock and copy, Windows C, program files. Just go back down here, this is the Windows apps one. And then go to min Microsoft.MinecraftUWP, data, skin packs okay make sure skin packs is selected in blue and then once you've made sure that skin packs is selected in blue you can just press ok and that and then it should say unlock and copy successfully if you've done it right and now we can open we can open up minecraft okay so now that we're on minecraft it's going to tell you you failed to load your characters and what's going to happen is everything is going to say that it's reloading it might not do this it it might be different for other people but in my case everything normally says that it's loading. And when you press reload, it doesn't do anything. So what you're gonna need to do is click this trash can down here and click confirm, and then go back to the character that you just clicked that on and then press create character. And then you're gonna wanna click here on this little clothes hanger and then owned. And then here's gonna be your skin. So I've got my little guy with the little bunny. And now I can back out of this, and we've got him in the game. 
So the, the thing about this is you can't use this on, say, the Hive or Lifeboat or any of these featured servers because for the most part, I think they all block them. They block custom geometry skins, but there are some servers you can use them on you, and you can use them on like multiplayer worlds and like realms and stuff. So they're pretty cool to have, or you can just play around with them on your own. Some servers allow them though. Anyone can see them. They, they work on servers here. Let me turn my FOV down so that you can see better. Yeah, but you can see I've got my little bunny guy there on my back. That's about the ed the end of this tutorial. That's about all I had to say. If you have any um, additional questions or you're confused about what to do in any specific part along the way, you can um, comment on this video or you can DM me on Discord. And I will I will see you later, I guess. Goodbye.